Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today's video is going to be more of a Shuji Summon video because as you can see on the screen right now, we'll have an interesting Sunday this weekend. So uh, yeah, uh, a lot to talk about, so let's get started. So, Shuji Summon this weekend. Well, let's see first what we will have in time in terms of events this weekend. So this weekend is going to be a crazy invocation of spirit where the drop rate of legendary heroes will increase by two times and a crazy divine summoning, which is the same but for divines. And uh, interestingly, so on Sunday we'll have one single day summon for um, Constance or Alora. So. Yesterday I did a live in which uh, there was a person there that said that they wanted their uh, whole savings to go up for this one just because they wanted to progress in gear 3 and there's nothing wrong with that but for people that have the same idea I highly advise not to. Well why? Let's discuss why. So should you summon for the crazy invocation of spirits? I don't think you should even if you're an early account and you want to populate your account I really think you shouldn't because there is going to be a nice banner coming up in this march but i'm gonna talk about that a little bit later into this video so crazy invocation of spirits and crazy divine summoning i don't think you should neither of us should i believe uh, i think the further we go into the game the further we'll have to save our resources because more and more interesting uh, and overpowered heroes are going to come up so the more you're going to increase your account and your account progression the more niche your requires your required or your requirements for a specific hero are going to to be so the more you're going to want specific heroes so i know some people just want uh, value but i think at this time at this point in time just saving for something that you really want or that would really benefit your account is actually better rather than going for a one plus one or a crazy vocation of spirits and getting two server no, two uh, shamirs on one shamir one crush or whatever it is uh, that's not even that is as important so let's say you want to also progress your account let's go for the sunday event where you can summon a laura and constance so let's say you can go for the you want to go and progress gear 3 or let's say you want an alternative for the loras or let's say you don't have hollow for example well still in any of these cases i don't think that you should summon because you can get hollow for Actually, it's not that rare, but you can get hollow in other summonings. You don't have to spend your summoning crystals to get an epic in this uh, special invocation of spirits. Theowin is just a fusible. I really think that uh, fusibles shouldn't be uh, placed in um, in uh, invocation banners. Uh, I think it should be changed and disregarded completely, but it is what it is. And we have Dalin, or Dalin um, which is not necessarily used by a lot of people it is useful in certain scenarios she is useful in certain scenarios but not that useful um, so let's talk about also the gear 8 4 that's going to come up right so in gear 8 4 there's going to be a need for um, anti heal is going to be a need for aoe damage and execute uh, so we can already picture uh, Vierna being very good, we can already picture Lassier, uh, Boreas, maybe Boreas, depending on how the the nerf works, um, Comet, and so on and so forth. So, uh, everything into consideration, why shouldn't you sum summon on this banner? Well, Constance, even though a great hero overall, and uh, from a great faction nonetheless, and as the Arbiter one, that is, not the Watcher one, Watcher being, I think, one of the weakest factions there is. Uh, Constance is actually a mix between a tank and an inspiration hero, like Dolores is, for example. But the thing is, she's not particularly... She doesn't particularly excel in none of those. She can be a great addition to a team that already has inspiration from Dolores, for example. You can overstack that. And she is useful in some type of content, but she's not that insane, right? 
So she's healing, she's buffing, she's a defender, but nothing too crazy overall. I'm not gonna go too deeply into her kit, you can do that yourselves if you want, but uh, you'll see, even if you read that, she um, doesn't give you a yes, I need her vibe, right? So right from the start we aren't necessarily quite happy with what we'll, we'll, we'll get definitely could be worse like constancy is still useful if you get her but uh, still not something that you should actually want actively especially if you're in the late game and you want other heroes like you don't have silas for example or you don't have uh, uh, i don't know uh, cyrus reeve that are very hard to get or whatever so um Let's go to Alora, which arguably some people would think that she is more useful. I think that she's on similar footing, like uh, Constance, in terms of usefulness, but uh, she's actually more useful in uh, particular in a particular content uh, from uh, from Gears, from Watcher of Realms that is more rewarding to complete. So that would be Gear A3. Many people have, uh, have even the devs constructed Alora in such a way that she would be very useful on the right side of uh, the last three stages of Gear 3, so that would be 19, 20 and 21. Many people used her and found it quite underwhelming to, to say the least. She can, if properly built, she can definitely do what her job has been all, all the time, but uh, she isn't necessarily, I don't know, as good at her job as some people expected so uh, some people tried to build her as good as their gear uh, was and still couldn't push gear 19 but um, for an early account or a mid game account that hasn't reached stage 19 or stage 18 she, if properly built she can definitely help you out with the right side but um, other than that Sure, if that's the sole purpose and you think that you you can build her to help you with the right side of Gear rate uh, 319, you can go for her, but still you shouldn't, because as you well know, as you probably have already seen in uh, the community already and on YouTube and from other content creators, there have has been a leak amongst other leaks, uh, which told us that we will have a banner containing Hatset and Artemis. So Hatset, in case you don't know, I made a video a while back about her, quite, I think yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll link it to you uh, down below. Hatset is going to be, let's imagine, an Alora on steroids, but uh, even though her kit are completely different, uh, she does Alora's job much, much, much better. So Hatset is very rare. She's in an extremely rare bucket of heroes that you can pull. So for example, if you're summoning a legendary, uh, there is a particular chance of summoning Abomination, for example. That's going to be, I don't know how, what percentage. I don't want to spill out numbers without actually knowing them, so I won't say them. But um, Abomination, let's say, has a much more higher rate to drop um, or, I don't know, Shamir has a much higher rate drop than uh, um, a Comet, for example, and a Comet has a higher rate of to drop than a Hatset. So, Hatset is very rare. So if you... It basically has the same amount of... the same probability of being pulled as you probably pulling a Legendary. So, if you pull a Legendary, add on top of that the probability to pull a Hatset is very, very, very scarce. Not too many people have her, and those that have her um, they have it from uh, her first banner. So, having another headset banner is going to be amazing because headset is already hard to get and in getting proved rates for her is going to be quite nice. And she does Alora's job much, much, much better for Gear 3. Many people put headset on the right side and they, she just bursts down every everything that's going there. So, why would you summon for Alora knowing that in March there will be another amazing hero banner right so this is why i think you shouldn't summon for neither olora nor for constance constance you can get away with without having her just by using dolores an epic that uh, is has even bit better inspiration um Alora is fine but she can get very easily outclassed by hatset so that's going to be a future banner in less than a month so why summon for her now and 
Hollow, which is in my opinion one of the best uh, epics in the game, is worth summoning for, but is considering what other legendaries are in this banner and what's what the upcoming banners are going to be, uh, she's not necessarily that worth it, right? Because you can get her from other um, summoning pools or some other epic pools. Theowin, Fusible and Dal Dalen, um, very circumstantial and f people very rarely use her. So the overall uh, message is do not summon this weekend. I urge you to save up for until uh, the headset and Artemis banner comes up on global. And yeah, other than that, uh, that's the entire the, the entire message. Uh, I, I think uh, I will be streaming more often because I've seen that people actually interact with me. <laughs> so um, if you see me streaming, make sure to come check out, check it out, uh, talk with me and um, interact with me. I like to talk with you guys and get to know you guys. Sometimes I go on, you, on your accounts and give you some uh, advice or actually do some gear, uh, gear raid for you or any other content that you need help with. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, leave a comment below. I uh, respond to every single comment that I see. So uh, yeah, this has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. See you guys.